Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're talking about video gear under $100. I've got a whole bunch of stuff on the bench here to talk about today. And if 100 bucks is too rich for your blood, we've also done videos on gear under $20 and gear under 50 bucks, which you can check out in the description. None of these companies have sponsored this video, but this video is supported by those of you who have purchased my camera guides and LUTs. Check the link in the description to learn more, and thank you guys so much for the support. With that out of the way, let's get on to our list, starting with a camera monitor that is under $100 hundred dollars. This is the FW759. It is a seven inch HDMI monitor. Now the actual panel itself is less than 1080p, so you're going to be losing some resolution there, but the resolution is still plenty to be able to compose your image, check focus, and all that good stuff. And for under a hundred bucks, I think it's pretty impressive. If you wanna learn more about this and other monitors, I've done a whole video comparing budget options from different companies. Our next item under a hundred dollars is going to be the Rode Video Mic Go 2, and I've done a review on this microphone recently. It's just under $100 and is really fantastic. It is a great sounding microphone and it has a lot of cool features like being able to connect it to a computer over USB-C and use the mic out jack as a headphone jack for direct zero latency monitoring. Easily one of the best budget microphones available now and I absolutely love these. Next we have two light stands and the first is going to be this impact heavy duty 13 foot stand. And what I love about it is you can have really heavy lights like this Aperture 6 C, but it's also air cushioned. So if I raise this thing up and if I let go of it, it's going to slowly lower the light safely without hurting anyone or hurting your gear. And these are great for heavy lights, heavy soft boxes, just an all around fantastic light stand. The second light stand that I really like is the Impact Combo Boom Arm Stand. And what's cool about this is it goes super high up, but it also has a built-in elbow. So you could boom a microphone, a light if you wanted it just out of frame behind somebody, a lot of uses, super versatile, and it's on sale right now at under 100 bucks. Our next item under $100 is actually a lens. This is the Konica 40 millimeter F1.8. And what I really like about this is first the focal length. 40 millimeters is a super unique focal length landing right in between 35 and 50. And I love the F1.8 to get some nice shallow depth of field. This is also a pancake lens. So you can see it's fairly small and you can adapt it to just about anything. This uses an AR lens mount. So I could grab something like this, which is a AR to Sony E. I can simply line up the lines, lock in place, and now I can use this lens on my Sony camera. It's not the sharpest lens out there, but I really, really like 40 millimeters at 1.8. Super interesting and unique, and you can find these online under 100 bucks. Next up, we have two of my favorite new top handles, and it's from a brand called Nitsy or Nitsy. This is the Stinger and the Lil Stinger, as it's called on Amazon. These particular variants are in the NATO style, so I can grab my A7S, grab one of these handles, lock it in place just like that. And there's a couple features I really like about these. First, there are a ton of mounting points all the way around. Secondly, there is actually an angle here, which is really fantastic for mounting monitor mounts, like this one, and I can simply throw it on here tighten it down. And because this thing's at an angle, it keeps a super low profile. So you can see the monitor wouldn't be sitting way too high on this handle. The other thing I love is the way it grips. You have really nice spots for your fingers. And on the little guy here, you can perfectly fit your four fingers. But if you move up to the full size stinger, you actually have two positions for your hands. So I'll lock this in place. And as you can see, I can hold it like this or slide forward, allowing you to get your balance just right. This one also has a cold shoe built in here. So really awesome handles from Nitsi, two different sizes, and I just love these things. Next up, we have a camera base plate from Nicey Rig, and this one has a ton of great features. First, it takes 15 millimeter rods, like a lot of base plates, but it also has this center riser here, which can be set flush, like you see here, or you can get a little riser that raises your camera up. But the real reason I love this thing is the built-in rosettes. So you can take this thing, throw your camera on it, and add extension arms or handles or all kinds of cool stuff 
to your setup. Next up, we have the legendary Aperture MC LED light. This can be had for 80 to 90 bucks, and it's just a fantastic LED light. It has magnets on the back. We've got a display here. It's full RGB WW as well as CCT. So you have a lot of different options when it comes to using this light. So highly recommend it if you're looking for a really great all around our LED panel. Next up, we have the Falcom F22 quick release system. I've done a whole video on this awesome system. And in short, there are no locks to this thing. So you simply grab stuff and just push it together and you don't have to tighten anything down. So this is great for things like this, where you have several monitors and you just wanna quickly attach them together. Really awesome system. Definitely check out that video where I broke down how it works and what all you can do with it. But there are a ton of these various adapters all well under $100. You can get a nice little kit going on. Next up is easily my favorite V-mount plate. It's under 100 bucks. This is also from Nitsi. We've kind of got a theme going on here, but you can do so much with this thing. So I love using these with my favorite mini V-mounts, which I'll also include in the description. It locks together. You've got a nice, really tidy little kit here with barrel jacks and D-taps on both sides of this thing. And you can do so much with it. You can add it to rigs like I did in my perfect rig camera video. It has pass-throughs for bolts. There's just so many things you can do with this. You can add it to lights. You can add it to cameras. I love this thing. Next up, we have one of the coolest video adapter boxes I've ever used. This is the Blackmagic bi-directional SDI to HDMI. In short, you can adapt HDMI, like you see here, to SDI or SDI to HDMI, and you can do both at the same time. So I could send SDI in, have HDMI coming out, and a completely different signal, HDMI in and SDI out. And you can also use it as a pass-through box. So I could go HDMI in, have SDI converted out, but I could also use the HDMI out and run multiple devices from the same box. As if that wasn't enough, you can also load LUTs onto this thing and have it be used for the HDMI out or just the SDI out. So, so many different options. There are two versions. There's a 3G, which is going to work for 1080p signals. And then this is the 12G, which goes up to 4K60. If you ever have to deal with HDMI and SDI devices, this is a must have. Our our last item under $100 is a tripod, and this thing is the Magnus VT300. I have had this thing for years and years and years. There are several different models available, and it is plastic, but this is one of the cheapest, smoothest tripods you're going to find. So if you just want something that is going to pan and tilt very slowly and very smoothly, you're not going to beat this thing for the money. The VT350 model can hold up to 15 pounds, although I probably wouldn't push that. And again, it is plastic, but it's lightweight, which is a huge bonus. And it does extend pretty high up, which is hard to find in budget tripods. So if you're looking for your starter tripod, this one's fantastic and you can always use more tripods as you upgrade, have this thing off to one side with your B or C camera fantastic budget tripod. So that is going to wrap up this video on gear under $100. Everything will be linked to in the description. You can also find other gear videos, including gear under $20, under $50, and I'm sure I'll keep making these because I find them kind of fun to see what we can come up with. With all that out of the way, thank you guys so much for the support, for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you in the next video.